What's up everybody, this is Rafi at Zurb, and I'm really excited about this video. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through badges and labels. So those are two different components in foundation, but they pretty much do the same thing. So we're gonna show you how to use them and where they might be used. So a badge is a really simple component, but you're probably gonna use them a lot because they're great and easy to style. So a badge is something like this. We have a circular kind of pattern here with some text, icon, whatever inside. So a couple places that you'll find them used in foundation. Uh, so if you hop over to zurb.com, foundation.zurb.com slash building blocks, you'll see them used on our cards here. So we have this card and the badge is actually labeling this as being a foundation six component. And then there's also components in building blocks that are using badges. So like this uh, nice email button for notifications and this other button over here uh, with a notification badge. So um, notifications is a really common use case for a badge. So a badge is created with a span with a class of badge. So really simple span with a class of badge. Now you can put uh, up to two characters inside of the default badge uh, before it starts getting oblong. So it's going to stay round. Um, once we start putting more characters in there, of course, it's getting longer. So now it's becoming more oblong. So a label might be a better use case for that. So I'll show you that in just a moment. But for smaller amounts of characters, uh, badge is great, and this is really what the main use case is for. So we have all kinds of modifier classes that we could add to the badge, um, especially for colors. So if we do a secondary, and this is great for prototyping, so now I'm making a secondary badge. It's kind of this gray color. Now this is kind of small, so I want to show you that the badges can be sized up with one simple thing. So I'm gonna target the badge with some CSS. So dot badge, and then we're going to give it a font size. So you don't need to mess with the padding, you don't need to mess with the width and the height, you just need to change the font size. So let's do to rem. So you can see that the badge scales up depending on the font size of the badge, which is great. So this is using M-based padding, and M-based padding allows us to do this. So now you only have to change one thing, and now the badge got really nice and big. Um, so this is the easiest way to change the size of the badge, use a font size on the badge. So we have all these sizing classes, so secondary, we could do alert, um, and the primary color is the default color. So you don't need to do that, but we can also do uh, warning and success. So there's warning and then success. So all the different um, colorings that you could do with badges and of course the sizing. Now we can swap this over to be a label if we want it to look a little bit different. So they're very similar components, but you can use them for different things. So let's change this to a label. Okay, so now this is a label. Um, you can still use all the coloring classes that we just mentioned. So alert, um, success, uh, warning, you know, all the different coloring classes. And they are also, again, sized um, with the font size. So if you want to make the label bigger, we could target dot label and then just change the font size of what's inside of it. Now this is made for more text. So like new component or something like that. So this is great for labeling blog posts or labeling, um, you know, anything that's new or different or updated. Um, you could, you could do this. Now you can also use a label for a tag. Um, so it's not restricted to the span tag. 
So we could actually use it on an anchor tag and it works just the same way. So href equals, and then we'll link it to somewhere. So the label can work on a span or an anchor tag, um, basically any te text type of tag, it works fine on. So um, you can also use this in line with your, with your text. So that is labels and badges, really easy to update, really um, easy component to use, and you're gonna find it very useful. We teach about this and all the other components in Foundation in our Intro to Foundation class. So make sure you check that out. I'll put the link below, and thanks for watching.